Say hello, Peter. Hello. You're at the airport. <laughs> Going to? I have no idea. Madeira. Yeah, Madeira. What? Bye. Bye. I can't go without my coffee at the airport. I can't go without my coffee at the airport. Arrived in Madeira but isolating for about six hours in the hotel room because you have to do a COVID test at the airport when you arrive and the queues are really long. Um, probably about an hour, an hour and a half wait for that test and it's really invasive when you do get to do it. It's not like the one in England where they just did a swab up my nose just here and down the back of the throat. Um, this is a really long like cotton bud about that long back of the throat and up each nostril, right to the back, right to the back, up, up each nostril. So I had to, he did one and I literally had to brace myself for the next one. It was odd. But anyway, they gave you a bottle of water afterwards and it was fine. Um, in that queue, luckily, um, got to the front quite easily because I was limping because I've hurt my foot. So they took me to the front and that was really nice of them, but everyone was really nice, they're really strict here. You've got to wear a face mask at all times, even in the street. Um, and my test came through anyway, before the six hours were up, and it tested negative. So that's fine, I can go out the apartment and do whatever, so long as I've got my mask. I'm fine, but it's hot, it's humid here, came ill prepared for clothes, I brought more winter stuff so I had to go out to the shops and buy some tops and a pair of shorts, but okay, I shall have a look around Madeira, it's really pretty and take my camera and show you. I haven't done a video uploaded for about three months because we've had this virus, we've had lockdown and to be honest I just didn't feel like it. I've been doing other things like cooking and stuff like everyone else and been in lockdown but um, yeah I think I do enjoy making videos, uploading so I'm in Madeira and um, I thought I'd record it but um, yeah it's been a really weird few months for me, a lot's been happening some good things, some bad things but I'll get to all of those in in another video. View out of the hotel room. View from balcony. Hello. Everywhere I go, there are cats. someone's feeding you.
some bits of Funchal, <coughs> the Marina Terrace, <coughs> these yellow buses are coach tours. So cute. <laughs> so green Madeira. Apparently the north is really lovely with volcanic waterfalls and little grottos you can go and just bathe in. But I haven't got time to go to the north. It's all supposed to be beautiful and green with lots of flowers everywhere. I'm in the south in Funchal and I've just come to explore the old town. Lots of restaurants, tiny little back streets, lots of places to eat, lots of Portuguese food. Really lovely. Lots of street dogs here and they're quite friendly. I guess they get food anyway because there's a lot of restaurants around so poor things, he's lovely. I'd love to have him at home. Oh this one's been here all day. Oh poor baby. Outside the fish market. Oh. I'd love to take them home. Yep, I'd definitely love to take them home. beautiful beautiful embroidery shop you don't see them anymore so I've come in here to get a pink mask all hand embroidered 20 euros or if it's more intricate 25 euros but beautiful you just don't see things like this anymore 
Wow. <laughs> All old fashioned. <laughs> All old fashioned. So I've just bought myself a pink linen face mask, 20 euros. Wow. 